The Management Consulting Pathway is a portfolio of lectures and different lecture subjects that combine into the Management Consulting course itself. And the course is aimed at students who wish to pursue a career in uh, internal management consulting, so working for a large company like Tata Steel and becoming an internal change agent, or working for an external company such as KPMG or one of the other large management consultancies. And the third option is that you will learn the skills that will take you into working for yourself as a management consultant, either in a specialist area or a general area of management. So the pathway is designed to equip you with all the skills you will need to have a successful career diagnosing organisational problems, working within frameworks and enacting change. The management consulting pathway is interesting because it is actually one of the most dynamic careers that will take a student anywhere in the world and to encounter any particular problem that a manager will face. So management consultants don't necessarily deal with trivial issues, we deal with rather large issues that are complex, need to be unpicked, you have to have very good diagnostic skills and you have to have very good convincing skills because you're going to be dealing with people who don't necessarily want to change but need to change so that an organisation can thrive and survive. So why is the particular course exciting? It's exciting because you're exposed to a lot of real world situations. The people who deliver my course on our course uh, are all experienced industrialists or service uh, people so they will embellish any of the material given with real life cases of change, successful change, failures to change and also what does it mean for uh, competitive advantage in the real world. So it's not just textbook related, this is very much case related and students will be expected to unpick very complex problems and work together as groups to solve solutions. The graduates that pursue this particular course have all found careers in various aspects of consulting. So many have gone to uh, assessment centres and been taken up by the large consultancies. Some have gone to specialist management consultancies and followed careers in IT consulting or large-scale change. And many end up working for organisations with whom they have a role that is not just managerial but involves internal consultancy. So this means working for an employer and finding solutions to complex problems that, that employer faces. So this is, if you like, uh, an internal capability uh, and the course equips people in that particular role to make change. So uh, this could be working for a local council, as some of our students have ended up doing, and actually working as a, a change agent to improve council's efficiency and to deliver better services to citizens. So uh, this course will equip you for a very, very, very diverse uh, career. Hi, my name is Dr Sam Buxton and I teach on the Business Analytics Pathway. On this pathway you'll be taught a number of modules that are very interesting. These range from Business Analytics, Management Science, to Programming for Analytics, Data Mining and Spreadsheets and Databases for Business Analytics. These modules are extremely practical in nature and provide you with an understanding of how to use statistical in, um, techniques in the future and how to manipulate and present data. Business analytics pathway is relevant to a large number of different areas such as marketing, operations management and healthcare industry and also forward analytics and banking. Banks such as Capital One use data analytics to differentiate among customers based on credit risk, usage and other characteristics and then to match customer characteristics with appropriate product offerings. Haraz, the gaming firm, use analytics in its customer loyalty programs. EJ and Gallo win Winery quantitatively analyzes and predicts the appeals of its wines. Between 2002 and 2005, Deere and company saved more than $1 billion, employing a new analytical tool to better optimize customer retention and inventory. A telecoms company that pursues efficient call center usage over the customer's services may save money as well. Why you should consider taking the pathway. If you want to unleash your passion for problem solving and see things, great ideas through, this is the pathway for you. If you're a bit like Columbo, always questioning. If you're a bit like a two-year-old, always asking why, then this is the pathway for you. It will allow you to look at the data and constantly question it, asking why. 
if you want to build on technical expertise, introducing new pieces of software to yourself to gain better expertise for the future, then this is the pathway for you. If you want to experience a challenge with this, again, this is the pathway for you. All these le things lead up to you following a path, career pathway as potentially a business analyst, using the business analytics pathway as a foothold for that. You will gain practical insights and practical skills during the use of this pathway and this will become very useful for any future employment opportunities and will look great on your CV. So we hope to see you transferring to the business analytics pathway. Thank you. Hello to everyone. I'm Julia, subject coordinator from the Accounting and Finance Department in the School of Management. Today I'm here to promote the finance pathway of the BSc Management Programme. Why? First of all, nowadays, a lot of students graduate in a BSc in Management. Therefore, to distinguish yourself from other students, this pathway, so the finance pathway, will help you to specialise in these areas, which is finance. And as you know, nowadays, no one gets bored in finance. So why should you consider taking the pathway in finance? Well, the motivation is that financial service industry is evolving at a frenetic phase. Therefore, thanks to this pathway, you will be able to sharpen your numerical, analytical skills and enhance your understanding of financial mechanism, which is so valuable in a graduate employment. As a manager, it will also set you apart from the business management generalist because of your enhanced ability to understand the financial aspect of a business. Upon completion of this program, you will be suited for jobs such as portfolio managers, finance analysts, business analysts, to name few of them. To conclude, what are the areas of interest in this pathway, so finance? Well, this program is delivered by specialist staff that have a valuable experience both in business practice and in finance. It covers the core business discipline and allows you to choose from a range of electives. The module equips the student with the practical finance and business skills valued by employers. If you're going to pursue this pathway, so the finance pathway in the BSc in management, you are going to study subjects such as corporate finance, corporate governance, financial marketing institution, investment banking, financial market efficiency. But bear in mind that there is real emphasis on the practical elements of finance in business and you will have the opportunity to put into practice all the concepts that you have learned by practicing on real life example. I hope I can see you, a lot of you, joining the Pathway in Finance in the BSc Management Programme. Thank you. The Entrepreneurship Pathway uh, encompasses a number of different modules that are based around uh, entrepreneurship, entrepreneurial mindset, uh, and thinking in an entrepreneurial way uh, that will really help students uh, who are looking at any career. There are a number of different types of modules on there ranging from theory of entrepreneurship all the way through to, uh, to practical entrepreneurship as well. Uh, one particular module uh, we actually uh, give money to students to, uh, to set up their own enterprises during a semester uh, which they are assessed against. So it's a really well-rounded uh, pathway. The graduates from our pathway will be employed in a number of different areas. Uh, being entrepreneurial is a, a real skill that uh, employers are looking for no matter what job they go into and also um, we have a number of students that are already being very successful having started their own businesses and they're following that as a career. Students come into the marketing program after taking a general module in their first year. This is our introductory module. They're usually getting those basic principles and concepts of marketing. And so after they enter into that first year, they get a bit of a taster. We then ask students to come into second and third year and get ready to dive into those topics deeper. So we're 
um, asking students to assess the consumption behaviors and patterns of individuals. We want to strategize about global market entry and even asking students to take a step back and critically think about some of those ethical dilemmas that we encounter in um, the power of persuasion. I think the marketing program is interesting purely because marketing itself as a subject and discipline is interesting. People often think that marketing is about selling, but it's much more than that. Yeah, it includes branding and marketing and ad campaigns, but it's also trying to understand why people want and desire what they want. Uh, it's also about analyzing marketing environments. What makes a product successful? What makes a brand fail? Why do we as consumers choose an iPhone over an Android? Marketing is part of everyday life. Uh, whether we realize it and we're conscious of it or not, it comes into each and every day. And and that's why it's interesting. So we're going to be asking you as the students to dive in to better understand why marketing is successful. Uh, graduating from a marketing program here at Swansea will lead to uh, vibrant careers in branding, digital marketing, market research firms, consulting, as well as larger uh, multinational corporation organizations. Uh, students from our program have gone off to work for organizations like Johnson & Johnson, Genie Ventures, and even some smaller entrepreneurial type uh, startup companies. Uh, needless to say, our students have done very well for themselves. Hi, my name is Yuji Tsai. Pleasure to be here. And I come from the organization Teaching Subject Group in School of Management, Swansea University. Uh, the organization's subject group is responsible for the human resource management pathway on the undergraduate program of business management. Uh, the HRM pathway is tailored especially for those students who have a special interest on the people element of work, employment and society, from classical human resource management to areas such as leadership and high performance organization. Um, as we know, the people is a very important element in modern society. The society we are living in includes a lot of organizations and embedded within the organizations are various groups and teams. While these groups and teams are consisted of different individuals from various backgrounds. Well, we say we are uh, living in a networked society while um, these networks in a sense can always be symbolized by the relationships between people. So no matter when it comes to a large scaled um, strategic alliance such as international merger and acquisition or it is a normal business negotiation. So we always come to the people issues as it would eventually be the people who would operate and implement the stuff. Um, so we also see the implications of people in our daily interactions with different organizations and also through the business news. For example, Ryanair's recent woes with the flight cancellations are largely down to its problems in dealing with managing their people, namely the pilots in this case. Also, the CEO of Facebook, Zuckerberg, has said, I think for a company, as long as you can get two things right, to get to know the right direction where you're going and bringing in the right people to execute on the stuff, then you can do pretty well. Well, we know the study of management also uh, always derives from a standpoint of nationality, uh, telling up the rules of the games on how to operate. While our group would seek to question and argue whether this rationality can always be pursued as the people issues are far more complex uh, compared with the first thought. And as a collective subject group, we firmly believe in research-led teaching so the HRM pathway is reflective of our research interests and expertise as a group. Our subject members come from a variety of academic and professional backgrounds. So we conduct uh, inspirational and important research topics on the organizational and managerial issues such as globalization and international human resource management, managing performance and performativity, and managing family and work. 
As a result, this pathway is truly multidisciplinary, bridging the likes of sociology, politics, um, industrial relations, organization and cultural studies. And through the years since studying with us, students would develop multi-skills such as skills in independent learning, critical thinking, analysis, leadership, problem solving, communication, and time and project management. Um, as such, on completion of this pathway, students are expected to have a lot of learning objectives, for example, to um, appreciate the domestic and international context of organization, to engage with theory and real life on the people dimension on work and employment across the public, private and third or voluntary sectors. They would also be expected to question the world around them, especially in consideration on the standing point, on the standpoints uh, which have been making the uh, arguments on how to manage people and last but not least to be more sensitive on the people issues uh, especially in consideration on the legal and ethical responsibilities this may involve. About the module details, in year one students would be expected to learn some general management and business modules such as managing people. In year two there are a list of core modules and optional ones and the whole list would include organizational behavior, human resource management, strategic analysis, change management, business and employment law, social aspects of organization, global business environment and international business. In year three, which is their final year, they would study international human resourcement, which is taught by me, leadership, um, business ethics, power and organization, and global shift. In terms of the employability prospects, I can share with you guys about some data from um, DLHE, which is the uh, destinations of learners from higher education survey results. So uh, the most updated data was from the uh, 2015 and 16 data as the 16 and the 17 cohort has just been uh, completing the data gathering. So among those respondents who were surveyed in the uh, 15 and 16 cohort, 100% uh, that was all of them who were studying HRM pathway were in further education or have got a graduate level employment. And the job uh, roles they have filled in uh, would be HR related as well, such as the human resources and industrial liaison officer. Well, I can also share with you guys about some case studies of our students. Um, one of our graduates in 2016, Alex Dot Jones, so he has done an impressive job in securing a job placement. Uh, in the Nike company in Amsterdam in the Netherlands within the HR department during his study with us. So he has been keeping um, frequent contact with us so we know now he's got a graduate trader's job in Morrison which is a great role for his age. Um, another student who is an international student, uh, Cynthia one, she has taken my international HRM module last year and has chosen HR as her future career path after graduation. Uh, so she's now working in a UK listed recruitment firm called Michael Page and working as an associate consultant in their Hong Kong branch. Uh, she's screening CVs and selecting talents for the company every day, said by her. Well, the ultimate reason you may want to consider to study HRM pathway is about the people, that is us, the collective subject group. We are a small but perfectly formed bunch and we are doing uh, very enthusiastic uh, researches and we are teaching with a passion um, on the complexity of how people can be managed and organized. So, uh, we are very much looking forward to exchange these ideas with you guys through your studies with, with us, for example through the Thinking Organization and the Thinking Paper session which has been launched by our subject group in the recent years. So if you've got any questions about our pathway, our subject group or any modules that we deliver, please don't hesitate to get in touch and let us know.
Thank you very much. Okay, so my name's Carl, Dr. Carl Cater, uh, and our pathway is uh, on tourism, and that's a new one for this year. Um, the pathway's been developed because uh, it's a growth industry, and the Welsh Government are very interested in promoting the tourism industry. Uh, and as a, it's a really important industry, uh, it is probably the biggest industry in the world um, in terms of employment. Um, and the pathway itself contains um, modules that will help you understand how the industry is managed. Um, we've got modules on uh, t tourism marketing, um, on uh, principles of tourism, so understanding the industry. Um, we've got ones about uh, tourism experiences, because increasingly the industry is about um, different types of experiential um, uh, products and there's also a um, international field trip as well which will be part of the module um, which will be quite exciting um, well the pathway i think really is is going to be a really interesting exciting one to do um, because it's about a, a service industry you know the tourism industry at the end of the day is is about making people happy and giving them positive experiences in place um, and it brings a lot to local communities as well in, in all parts of the world, really. It's, it's one of the industries that is everywhere around the world. Um, and, you know, one of the big opportunities as well is it, it, it brings people and cultures together as well. So I think the opportunities to, um, to travel with this industry are probably the greatest. Um, and we've definitely built that into the course and the pathway itself so that you'll have the opportunity um, as, as one of the modules to, um, to travel uh, overseas um, to a destination to see how tourism is developed in that location. The tourism industry is probably one of the biggest industries in the, in the whole world, um, so there's really a, a huge range of jobs that you could kind of end up in. Um, obviously what we're training students to be um, you know, is, is man managers in this industry. Um, so they could be working as managers in hotels, um, they could be working for some of the big tour operators like TUI or Thompson, um, they could be um, working um, for airlines, um, but there's also a lot of uh, public sector jobs in this area because of the importance of the industry to local um, economies and local communities. So. We've had students working um, for um, visitor information um, organisations, um, also working for councils in tourism planning is another big area, um, or um, you know going on to, to, to further study as well. You know, it is, it is a real sort of growing area, I suppose. Right, so my name is Desiree Cranfield and I'm going to be talking about the e-business pathway. So the e-business or the digital business pathway provides our students with the opportunity to learn about how innovative technologies are leveraged to enhance competitiveness of organizations. The pathway includes subjects like information systems, information systems management, e-business, project management and application development. So with the invent of the internet and the World Wide Web, organizations have changed the way they do business. And this is, you know, drastically they've changed this. And organizations now rely heavily on information systems for their survival. So it's important for our students to be at the forefront of innovation and technology and the impact of this on business. And this is what the pathway aims to achieve, and this is why I think it's so interesting and exciting to take. So students with, or who leave the university with an e-business degree are primed for a variety of careers, industries and job functions. For example, they could go into project management, they could become an information systems analyst, they could become an IT project manager, they could become an e-business analyst, or a web content manager, just to name a few. Swansea University business management pathway degrees offer real added value to graduate employers.